Just visit the new calgaryherald.com with more of everything worth knowing. There's a lot of pessimism at this gathering of brokers and investment fund managers. Six months into a new royalty regime has not tempered criticism of the changes. If you severed an artery, a band-aid doesn't help. So a tweak doesn't help when you've made such a massive change that uh, investors don't have the confidence. Energy companies say investors see a lot more risk in Alberta today and are spending their money in BC and Saskatchewan. You know, I think Alberta should do, should look at um, the entire impact of having um, a strong natural gas and oil business in the province and look beyond just royalty rates. We're not going back. So, so what was there may have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, suited uh, people at uh, a certain point in time. I don't have any ability to go back and we're not going back. So Alberta Energy Minister Mel Knight wasn't backing down in front of a tough crowd, but the Energy Minister says he's flexible to energy industry concerns. The door is always open relative to those discussions. Uh, the heads of Alberta's energy companies say they want clarity. They say investors will likely spend their money elsewhere if the province doesn't extend a one-year incentive program that kicked in April 1st. It's helpful, but it's only for one year. So you need to get some stability. And uh, you know, we don't know what's going to happen after a year. Should they extend it? I think they should look at that. It's very clear that capital has migrated out of Alberta into other jurisdictions. That's not the Canadian that. Association of Petroleum Producers is hosting the symposium. CAP's president says it's hard to remain optimistic. I think uh, a, f a fair bit of concern about the near term and cautious optimism, I think, about the longer term and uh, a need for, uh, for increased certainty about what the policy environment in this province is going to be over the longer term. As for the changes, Knight is unapologetic. Um, I will uh, stand here and make absolutely no apology for the past. It's, uh, it is what happened. Uh, I think that what we've done has worked very hard with players uh, in, in the industry and certainly uh, listening to the investment community relative to designing what we needed as this uh, change started uh, coming forward uh, a few months ago. Mel Knight says the industry has been treated fairly and the province is sharing the effects of tough economic times in the energy sector. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.